Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, today uh, I want to introduce this camera Karamata's inequality, and I just uh, randomly saw some Wikipedia, and I think the proof is interesting. So I want to share with you guys. And uh, my personally also uh, get some uh, inequality list that I think is very useful. So this is what I uh, uh, give the whole uh, every proof of this inequality, especially the Jensen's inequality, which is so powerful in the uh, in the probability. And I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay. Uh, so let me explain what the hell is going on. So this uh, uh this uh, Karama uh, Karamata's inequality start from uh, it has some open inter uh, close interval. I think close or open is not important. You get some open interval, and which is convex. Okay, so uh, so simply speaking, that uh, I mean, uh, convex look like this, right? So basically, uh, simply speaking, you can view the you can. Uh, view the slope, uh, slope uh, is increasing. Okay, so take any two points, slope is increasing. Okay, this is one uh, statement. And uh, another statement is that the least line is always above the curve. Okay, so yeah. And uh, if you further assume that F is a uh, second differentiable, then you can just say that F double prime uh, greater than zero. Okay, now we have some numbers. Uh, which is ai i from one to n and the uh, bi i from one to n and all these ai are bi are all belongs to our uh, interval and uh, such that uh, uh, such that uh, people write ai this bi so this is called the uh, majorize majorize ai a so a pair majorize b pairs okay so let me just explain what it means Okay, so our condition is that uh, we have three conditions. The first condition is a1 greater or equal to a2 up to an, and uh, b1 greater or equal to b2 to the bn. And uh, so majoritize means that uh, a, uh, let's say a i for i from one to k greater or equal to b i i from one to k for like for k greater or equal to one and less or equal to n minus one. Okay, and uh, the first condition is that uh, when k equals to n, basically their sum must be the same. Okay, so these are four conditions. So basically, but uh, majorize means that uh, I mean, hopefully our pronunciation is correct. Okay, so basically this is a one, a two, a three. Da, da, da. And uh, for each, so a one must be greater than b one. Okay. And a1 plus a2 must greater than like b1 plus b2. I'll keep going. Okay, but uh, their total sum will be the same. Okay, so these are all the four conditions and uh, assume f is convex, then uh, these uh, Karamatas tell you that, uh, Karamatas tell you that, uh, uh, what? Summation of f a i, i from one to n, is greater or equal to summation of i from one to n, f of b i. Okay, so this inequality is called the uh, Karamata's inequality. Okay, so let's uh, give the proof. Okay, before we go to the proof, uh, let's let me just quickly say a lemma. So this lemma is uh, almost trivial. Okay, so let's say f is a uh, convex on a b, and uh, let's say for every a and x one, x x two, a b, and then let me just denote the slope. Let's say use gamma uh, a b. Divide, uh, sorry, let's using gamma uh, x1, x2, denote it to the slope, slope, okay? So f x2 minus f x1, x2 minus f1, x1, okay? Uh, then uh, uh, gamma uh, x1, x, let's say equal to gamma x2, x, okay? For any x uh, belongs to a, b. Okay, so this proof is uh, trivial, right? But ju by using uh, just what I say, right? So suppose this is your uh, curve, and uh, uh, this is your x1 and the probability x2, right? Then you take some x, right? So since it's convex, right? So this slope will less than this slope. So this will less than this. And if you go uh, different, if you put x here, then you can say that this is also true. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is what the uh, what I'm gonna to prove. Okay. 
Uh, okay. So yeah, so we, we have this lemma. Okay, so let's go to a proof. Uh, okay, so let's denote, denote this CI to be gamma AIBI, okay? So this means that the, the, the curve, oh, sorry, the, the slope, the slope of uh, FBI. So basically, let me just write down, write down again, FBI minus FAI and uh, BI minus AI, okay? So the lemma tell me that uh, CI uh, is gamma AI BI, right? And I know that the B, I know that the BI plus one is less than uh, BI, right? So, so I can replace this with gamma AI BI plus one, right, by the lemma. And I can also replace the first component, right, because it's the symmetric, so which is AI plus one, BI plus one. So this is CI plus one. Okay, so basically this lemma, right? I mean, you, if you decrease the first component, then the slope will decrease. If you decrease the second component, the slope will also decrease. Okay, so which the lemma tell you that CI greater than CI plus one, right, for every I. Okay, so this is the uh, important. Okay, so now let's go to a proof. Uh, the proof is not difficult. Uh, let me, let me just quickly see. Okay, so uh, all you need to prove is that let's say I from one to n, right? I from one to n f of bi, and you want to prove that this is greater than zero, right? So the only thing is just min minus, right? So let's call it box, okay? I just use box uh, just for fun. I mean, okay. Okay, so uh, I can write this minus as a summation i from one to n, f a i minus f of b i. Okay, and uh, now let me just introduce some notation. So let's using a larger a i. Uh, let's using larger a i to be a j, j from one to i. Okay, uh, and I denote a zero to be zero. Okay. Also uh, for bi summation of small bj, j from one to i, and the b0 is zero. Whew. So how, how, how can I write this? So I can write this fai, right? Uh, how can, I can write this fai as a, uh, let me see, let me see how should I write it. Uh, okay, so let's, let's do this. So fai, right, so by this slope, right? I mean, F A I minus F V I is B I minus A I C I, right? So I get I can get this A I minus B I C I, okay? So I can write I from one to n, and uh, right? So A I is small, so A I minus A I minus one, minus B I plus B I plus minus one and C I. So uh, yeah, okay. So what should I do? I do we just expand it okay we just expand it so remember it let's quickly expand it so uh, you can quickly expand it as a i from one to n c i a i minus b i right so i combine these these two and the uh, next right the next which is a uh, summation i from one to n and the n and the c i a i minus one and the minus b i minus one right so this is simple Okay, so I, I take the, let's do this. I take I to be N, right? So I take the first term and with this. So I, I, I lost the first term, right? So this becomes this. And the minus, minus this term, right? Uh, so for this term, let me just uh, do some trick, right? I want to be, I want to make these guys become A, I, and B, I, right? So I can write it as A, I, B, I. But then this term must be C i plus one, right? C i plus one. And then what I do, i from zero, then I should start from the, I should, I can, I should start from the, I should start from zero, right? To the uh, minus one. Okay, so this term is what? It's zero, right? Because a n and minus b n uh, is basically when i equals n, then the summation of the condition give my a i, give me zero. Okay, so this term, I can write my right as this, right? And the AI BI and the plus the first term, right? So the first term, uh, sorry, minus the first term should be C1, right? Because I equals zero, A0 minus B0. Nice shot, these guys are zero by definition. 
So finally, I get C i minus C i plus one, and as i i minus b i i from n uh, one to n minus one. So this is the majorized conditions, majorized conditions. So this is equation zero. This is by a uh, convex. Okay, so I guess if you reverse the convex condition to be concave, then the equality will reverse. Ooh. Okay, so proof. Okay, so this is my short video about this uh, Karamatas inequality. Hope you guys like the proof and uh, see you guys on the next interesting inequality video.